Hi guys, it's Kevin here. I'm just going to do a quick video almanac of all, of all the cards that you're going to get in Legends Untold so you can, at a glance, see what all the stuff is when you take it out of the box. So, beginning with occupation cards, please note each occupation card is reversible, so you have male and female, attributes lifted down, listed down the left, and a speciality icon on the top right. The knife is the same on every card. Other things to point out, skill talent icon, meaning place skill talents down here. Weapon icon, meaning place weapons here. And the stitch symbol here with backpack and outfit telling you to place backpacks and outfits to this side. Yeah. Moving on to the outfits themselves, all of the outfits are upgradable. Please note the outfit icon here. The kit icon, please note, oh, sorry, the kit icon is here. The kits themselves, please note all the kits are upgradable. Some of them can be weaponized, such as the pickaxe. Finally, note if you're playing legendary rules, this is where the broken and damaged parts of the kits come into it. Weapons, again, every weapon can be upgraded. Each has its own stats and ammo icon if relevant. Please note the family icon, very important here. You must use the same family icon with the weapon talents that we're going to come to. And if you're playing legendary rules, this is where you break and damage your weapons. The weapon talents themselves, please note the weapon talents are not reversible. That is deliberately so, because if you drain the card, that is, you can't use it. There is a weapon family and a picture, and you have your abilities here. Skill talents, again, these are not reversible, because when you use them, when you drain them, you cannot use them until you heal yourself. The skill talents themselves have a speciality icon at the top to help you add additional spell specialities to your existing occupation card. That covers off the hero element of it.